Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. I needed to do this workout today because this is the last day I will be 60 years old. Tomorrow it's 61. So needed to do it. I want you to have a great time with this walking workout with me. Let's have fun. We're gonna get our heart rate up, feel great, work on our abs, great posture. Remember, I'm all about that. Make sure you have on your supportive shoes. After we do our cardiovascular area for a while with our walk, then we're gonna slow down the beats per minute just a little bit. We're gonna pick up some hand weights if you'd like. You don't have to use them if you don't want to, just use your own body's resistance, water bottles, cans of soup, if you are gonna use weights, go up to either ones, twos, threes, or fives, I would say with the max because of the beats per minute. Let's have a good time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's walk with that right foot. This is an apartment-friendly workout.
Melts that back. Work in that posture. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. And lift those toes. Level one is here. Level two. Fast feet. Eight, seven, six. Get ready with the left foot. Forward, forward, back. Back to here. Left, right. You got it. 
do that, I feel it in my upper back a lot. I'm strengthening that. And also you're gonna feel that booty as you lift that leg. Feel that tighten. Now let's stretch that out. Arch it out. Knee up again, stretch it. Feel the back of that leg and booty. Take it out, 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 back, be backwards. Back, back. Let's do it again. Forward. It's a march, but we're just moving our legs different. Up to speed. Out, out. Out, out. Cover that floor. Keep these legs low. You can take it in here. Here we go. 
go. Squeeze it in. Woo! Take it down here. Now add a knee. Right here, hold it. Pulse. Not too high. That's it. Right in here. Feel that? Now, next thing. Bring those shoulder blades together. Up. Up. Right here. You have to feel that, yes? I know I do. And I'm sweating too. Awesome. And tap it up again. Hold up. Now let's turn the hands this way. See how that changes it? Give me one more eight count. Tummy's in tight. Palms up. Change it. Arms slightly bent. Fantastic. Now let's bring this in here to the waist. Parallel with the floor. We're going to keep our feet still for a second so we get this. This comes to the end. So this is, we're not thinking of so much at the front arm of our arm as we're working those back muscles. Back muscles. Back muscles. Squeeze it tight. Step them together. Abs and tight. Progression. We're going to march in place. You've come this far. I know you can do it. Now take it out. Hold it. Push. Six. Right out here. In. Hold it. Push out. Good. Let's get our triceps. Out here. Sit down. Right arm. Left arm. Squeeze it tight. Body long. Like making holes in that dartboard. Open this. Feel a stretch through your chest as well. Yeah? So we got a lot of moving parts right now. We're avoiding a swing in our arms. We're taking it out there. We got our feet moving. We're opening our chest, keeping our head long, pulling our abs in and shoulder blades together. Ooh, that's a checklist. There you go. 
Right heel back. Give me a good stretch back. Arms behind right here. Open this up to the chest. Heel down. Continue to hold this in your chest. Switch legs. The leg is straight, but remember, we want to avoid pushing back with the patella to overstretch to the back of the leg. Right leg back, get our sides, stretch this, open these arms up. Now, if this is too much, that's okay. Put your hands here, feel this stretch, or you can do one arm here. If you want to open the chest and work that back, link those fingers and press it back. Other side. Remember, starting out is here. Zip it up. Here. Link these fingers, open this up and hold this. Work it. Now, if you're just starting out, that's okay. Your flexibility might not quite be there. We're going to work on that mobility, okay? Hold that a little longer. Press those elbows out. Tailbone tucked under, push it down. Right heel out. Here we go. Press the hips back. Head is long. So it looks like this. Roll it up. Other side. Take it out. Left leg. Deep breath in. Hips back. Keeping it square. Avoid a hyperextension. Away from pushing on the knee, I'm right up here. Good. Woo. Now, a place that sometimes we don't get stretched is down the side of the leg. It's super important. Let's bend these knees. My walkers, you need this stretch. Press that hip out here. See how we're here? We come on here and hold that. Other side. Stretch and hold. All through here. You want to get a little lower. Booty back. Nobody's knees are past the toes. Last thing, we want to get these quads. Right leg here. Flexor forward, tailbone under. Level two. Use a chair if you want. Go grab that chair and come on up. Press this forward. If you want to work on your balance, have that chair there. Maybe take your hand off for a second. Grab it again. Work to where you can get to stand without the chair. More tight. Other side. So we're under here. Level one aggressively tapping. Level two. Up. Chair. Press forward. Keep the knee from coming forward. Old. Deep breath in, exhale out. One more. Exhale out. Thanks to all of you. All my friends have been commenting. I love you all. Have a great evening. Have a great day. Whenever you're doing this morning. Bye-bye.